All right, girlfriends. Today is a video on the new Wet n Wild, and these are from their new line. I got mine at CVS. I paid $2.99 for each lip and $3.99 for the highlighters. So I will do swatches on the highlighters. But can you tell I did a very simple makeup look? Because I will be swatching one of these highlighters on one side of my face and one of these highlighters on the other side of my face as well as on my wrist. So, and we will be doing every single one of their colors on my lips. So without further ado, if you want to see what these look like, these swatches, then you know what to do. Just keep watching. Alright, I brought you a little closer. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this one is Crown of My Canopy. And it looks like this. It is a very beautiful champagne gold color. So we're going to do this one. So I'm going to take a fan brush. And we're going to dunk our brush in there. And we're going to do it on this side. Can you all see that? This is a drugstore highlighter, ladies. Now, it does kick up a little... I'm talking the ever f so... And, and it's velvety soft. That is it on my finger. Okay. Here it is on the back of my wrist. So, it is a very beautiful champagne gold. Has great reflex in it. Just stunning, stunning. So, that is that side. Now, I'm going to go into the Precious Pearls. Now, this one is definitely a champagne. This one is like a, I'm sorry, I was thinking of this one. This is a champagne a gold color. This one is the bronzy gold. So, the one that I just did on this side is the bronzy gold. So, if you have dark skin tones... This is going to look amazing on you. So this one, we're going to go ahead and kick it old school with a duo fiber brush because I don't want to mix the colors. So again, that's what this one looks like. Beautiful champagne. And that's what it looks like here. And on the back of my hand, right, right next to the one I swatched is that one. Look at these highlighters, ladies. Like... I'm blown away. Now remember, these are drugstore. So here is the Precious Pearls. Look at that. And if you wanted to wet your brush, it would be even more intense. So for you intense girls that love that intense, you don't even have to wet that. That is intense as fuck. Like, intense as fuck. Like, of course this is more up my alley but nonetheless this has a lot more gold in it this has a lot more rose gold undertones in it absolute great great thing they came out with these powders I am obsessed with these yes wet and wild you guys are really stepping up your game I am absolutely 100% happy with those I will use them both I don't give a shit when I get tanner I can use this one and as I'm more fair, I can use this one. So, right on my Cupid's bow. So, and down the bridge of the nose. Like, do you ladies see the glow in these? Best drugstore highlighter I've ever seen. So now... Let's get into these beautiful, I got all six, and these are their new metallic liquid lipsticks. Now, these are liquid lipstick, but they are not transfer proof. They're just a lipstick in a tube form. So these are not like what you're thinking of like in your like Anastasia or Dosa Kellers or Jeffree Star. These are not, or Ofra. These are not going to be like that. These are just a liquid lipstick. So I'm going to start from the nude and I'm going to work my way up to the darkest colors. 
So the first color we're going to go in with is going to be Pony Express. And it looks like this. And I'm going to bring you a little closer. And we're going to apply these. And the Dofa applicator on these, are they're different. They have like a notch cut out of it. Can you see that notch? So it's a really good for like the Cupid's bow area. So let's see how they apply. In my opinion, these are more like a gloss lipstick. If you, they're very metallic. So if you like that metallic, like glossy lip, you're going to love these. So that one again is Pony Express. Okay, the next one we're going to go in with is My Tulips Are Sealed. So that is this one, and it looks like this. So, and again, this one is My Tulips Are Sealed. And I am doing these in order so you guys know which ones I did first. You know, when you see in the bottom bar, this way you know if you want to go ahead and purchase that one or not. Make it easier on you, right? Okay, so the next one we have is called... I have no clue. So I'm going to let you look at this and you tell me what it... It's... Cur... Serenthiumus, the word? I don't know. You tell me if you know what the hell that means, that says. Anyway, it's a beautiful, just really bubblegum pink. So let's put this on. This is definitely a bright but still wearable pink. So... I love this pink. This is really pretty. With just like a regular eye like this. That's why I did just a regular wing. Because I want you to see that these lips will go with just any neutral eye look. So, that's that one. The next one I'm going to try on is Days of Fuchsia Past. So, it is this one here. And it looks like this. So this one again is Days of Fuchsia Past. Last two colors. So the next one we're going to try is one of my favorites. And it is definitely a lilac purple. It's called Indigo Indigo Your Own Way. And it looks like that. Now this one took a little building to get the opacity to get to the opacity that I wanted it to get to, but nonetheless still beautiful. So this is indigo your own way. Very fun, bright color, makes a statement. Yes, so if you want to make a statement, fun pop a color for spring. These are all beautiful colors. Like I said, like I would rock this all day with what I have on. That's why. Again, I did a neutral look. Okay, last one. We have Coming Up Roses. That is this one. And it is just a true red. This one by far has the most pigment. Like, 
It is so opaque. This one, by far, has the most pigment out of all the colors. That's like one swipe. It's intense, as you can see. So this is Coming Up Roses. Absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful wearable red. Absolutely. I'm in love with this one. This is my favorite. My favorite. Okay, so a little review on my thoughts. Out of all of these colors, my favorites would have to be the Pony Express, the Coming Up Roses, and the, the one I can't pronounce. And I like the purple. I just wish it was a little bit more darker. And it does kind of make your teeth yellow. All in all, the packaging is amazing. It has their logo here. It also has metallic liquid lipstick written, written, written right here on the side. They have no scent to them whatsoever, which is always a plus. The Dova applicator is so easy and precise to get the greatest like application I did not use a lip liner with any of these at all however the negatives on these that they don't stay that they're definitely transfer proof as shit so after two touches it's pretty much gone I don't know if you know what I mean it's going to and I waited a while. It does not dry down, so they are not a liquid lipstick per se. So that's pretty deceiving when you look and you see, oh, metallic liquid lipsticks. They're going to stick. No. So that is pretty much the only con I have for them. Other than that, they're beautiful. But I do feel if you would use like a lip liner underneath, it would, you know make the longevity of the lipstick itself last because you wouldn't have to apply so much. Some of these you did have to go over quite a few times to get the opacity of the lipstick that you wanted it to be or you could wear them very sheer as a gloss and like I said, they're all over my fucking teeth. So in order to, you know, you could also wear them over a liquid lipstick or a lipstick itself as just like a gloss to have like a little metallic sheen. I think that would be great. All in all, I mean, there's a lot more pros. I always look at, is there more pros than cons or more cons than pros? And with these, I see a little bit more pros than I do cons. So will I be keeping these? Yes, I will. So I will list my favorites in the bottom bar. And let me know which, your, which one was your favorite, which one you liked the best. Let me know in the bottom bar. Let me know if this was helpful in any way. Let me know if you would like me to do any more of these swatch reviews type things. Because, you know, without you letting me know, I don't know. But other than that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos from me. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. I love you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye, ladies and guys.